welcome to the Chef Raps Boys channel. Thank you viewer for choosing to subscribe to this channel where we meet and interact on various selected theological themes. Today I want us to talk on talk about the doctrine of salvation which we call soteriology. Soteriology, the doctrine of salvation. Before we study together, let us pray. Loving Father in heaven, we thank you. We thank you because of this morning and thank you for my viewer. As we study the doctrine of salvation, the soteriology, we ask you to be with us and speak to us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, my dear viewer, salvation is a very important doctrine. It's a very important teaching to Christians. Through the study of the doctrine of salvation, we are able to know how much God has done to us and how much God is interested in us. Let me tell you, if you knew how much interest God has in you, you will always choose to follow Him. You will always choose to love Him. You will always choose to follow Him. Following and loving God should be the business, the core business of a Christian. So, what is the meaning and the scope of salvation? You know, the sinful condition of the world and its awful plight calls for the plan of salvation before doom. You know, the world without the plan of salvation was destined for doom, destined for destruction. And it is such a huge des destruction. The premise upon which salvation is based on is uh, the condition, the sinful condition of the world. The awful plight of the world is the basic premise of salvation. Basically, the simple question here is, why salvation? Why did Jesus come? Why was uh, the death, resurrection, of Jesus Christ necessary. The hopelessness condition of the world after sin created the need of the plan of salvation. And one thing is key here. The plan of salvation was instituted by God before the foundations of the world were laid. Because of the omniscience of God, because of the omnipotence of God, because of the immanence and the transcendence of God, God knew the emergence, the occurrence of sin before he created the world. So the plan was instituted before Eden so that man can have a solution to that sinful condition. So the Bible reveals God's plan to save the world from degradation and sin. And the plan of salvation is called soteriology. Soteriology is the plan of salvation. We have a scholar called Rayleigh. Rayleigh says that soteriology is the grandest theme of scripture because it embraces all time as well as eternity, past and future. Soteriology is the grandest theme of scripture. In other words, every doctrine, every teaching, every content in scripture has a relationship with the salvation of humankind. Salvation is the central theme. 
salvation of man is a central focus of scripture because when you talk of the birth life and resurrection of Jesus Christ you are simply talking about salvation when you talk about the death of Christ on the cross of Calvary you are talking about salvation we are talking about the coming of Jesus Christ you are talking about salvation so soteriology is the theme of both the Old and the New Testament soteriology the plan of salvation the theme of salvation is personal, is national, is also cosmic. It is an, a personal problem, it is a national problem, it is also a cosmic worldwide problem. It centers on the greatest person, Jesus Christ. The plan of salvation. It centers on the greatest person Jesus Christ Jesus Christos so without this plan of salvation without this theme of salvation the world is rotten a person is rotten and the world is rotten with this theme of salvation soteriology a person is saved a nation is saved, the world is saved. Salvation encompasses the total work of God by which he seeks to rescue man from the ruin, doom and power of sin upon him and bestows upon him the weak, the wealth of his, son, of his encompassing grace, eternal life, Provision, provision for abundant life, now and eternal glory. The book of Ephesians 1, verse 3 to 8, Ephesians 2, verse 4 to 10, 1 Peter 1, verse 3 to 5, 1 John, John 3, 16, and verse 36, and John 10, verse 10. All these texts, they tell us how salvation encompasses the total work of God by which he seeks to rescue human beings. And he, through the plan of salvation, we are access to the wealth of the eternal glory. We are provided for life abundance, the abundance of life. And this is life eternal that they know Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. So the word salvation is a translation of the Greek word soteria, which is derived from the word soter, meaning savior. So therefore the word salvation implies deliverance, safety, preservation, soundness, restoration and healing so the theology theologically the word salvation means the work of god on behalf of men it also means redemption reconciliation propitiation conviction repentance faith regeneration forgiveness justification sanctification preservation and glorification so through salvation we are redeemed we are reconciled to God we are convicted of our sins we are made to know the importance and the value of repentance we have a strong faith a strong faith a healing faith we are regenerated. We are made anew. We are given a new song in our hearts. A song of victory. A song of glory. And through salvation, through the theme of salvation, we are shown how much we have been forgiven, how we have been justified, 
how we have been sanctified, how our lives have been preserved, and how we will be glorified. Ladies and gentlemen, salvation is central theme in the salvation in the in the through salvation we are meant to be hopeful again salvation is also regarded as a work of god rescuing man from his lost estate from his lost from a lost village we are all lost in a certain village in a certain estate so salvation is a work of bringing man back from a lost estate from that kind of fully i mean entangled and closed up in some cocoon so salvation is the act of god of drawing you out of you know the word ecclesiology the study of the church church is a, a people who have been brought out of so in uh, salvation is the act of god the work of God of restoring or rescuing man from his lost estate. So what is the motivation of salvation? What makes, what motivated this plan of Jesus coming to save man from degradation and sin, from ruin and damage which sin had caused to human beings? Ladies and gentlemen, The motivation, salvation reveals four major things. One, it reveals God's love. It reveals God's grace. It reveals God's holiness. It reveals God's goodness. That's what salvation, the theme of salvation reveals to you. That's what the theme of salvation reveals to me. It reveals God's love. It reveals God's grace. It reveals God's holiness. It also reveals God's goodness. The goodness of God. Ladies and gentlemen, salvation is past. Salvation is present. Salvation is future. Simply said, we were saved. We are being saved. We will be saved. On Calvary, we were saved. Today, the plan and process of salvation continues. And tomorrow and the years to come, God will be there for us. God will be saving us. Simply say it again. We were justified. We are being cleansed day to day. We will be glorified. We were justified we are sanctified we will be glorified the work of jesus christ can be seen in our past life the work of jesus can be seen today in our lives and the work of jesus will be seen tomorrow and the years to come salvation is relevant Salvation was relevant. Salvation will be relevant. There is no time in the history of man that the theme of salvation is not relevant. Jesus Christ was there in the beginning of time. He is there now and he will be there. There is no space of your history that Jesus is not. There's no space in the history of humankind that Jesus will be not. It is so unfortunate if we miss to partake of this great plan of man. Ladies and gentlemen, we are worshipping a living Savior. We are worshipping a loving Savior. We are worshipping a soon coming savior the theme of salvation is a great theme ladies and gentlemen i want to stop there 
by asking you this one question. Are you saved? Have you accepted Christ as a personal Savior? Are you ready for Him in your life? It is a great challenge. We need to know Him. We need to walk with Him. We need to trust in Him. May God bless you as you continue reflecting this in your life. Know that you are seen, your sins and mine are the great motivation of the plan of salvation. The sins of the world is a great motivation. The condition of the world, the sinful and wretchedness condition of the world is a great motivator of the great plan of salvation. Salvation, soteriology, the plan of salvation is central. It is the focus of the Old and New Testament. It is the focus of the cross of Calvary. It is the focus of Jesus Christ. May God help you as you consider salvation as a great subject in your life. God bless you. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you. Thank you for my bill. Continue blessing him. Continue blessing her. Continue saving him. Continue saving her. In Jesus' name. Amen. Sure can take